Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode. Today we are adding in the furniture add-on which adds over 1,000 unique furniture blocks. So we're gonna go ahead and activate it in our realm. And we have arrived. So we have the new furniture add-on on our world and this is so exciting. Oh my gosh, this this is 48 pages. That's a lot of stuff. Don't think I'll be reading this whole book, but welcome to furniture. This ad brings tons of new furniture blocks and features to your very own world that you can explore and interact with. Enjoy your creative journey. And oh my gosh. So obtaining furniture, we can use a crafting table and there's also a furniture merchant. And then we have all the different types of furniture, which this is a lot of stuff, 48 pages. So I'll just go quickly through and you can pause at any time if you want to read the description and see what it has but it's just a lot of stuff and <laughs> i don't want to spend time reading all of it but i do want you guys to see in case you're interested but yeah so i guess we'll see what we can make i think the very first thing i want to make i saw in a video is you can make like the windmill spinny part and i think that'll go perfect with our windmill that we have so I'm interested to see how we can actually make it. So I guess let's get to a crafting table ASAP and see what we do. Hopefully it, it'll work. It'll fit with our windmill model. Hi puppies! Hi Amora, Greedy, Maggie, Emma, Bailey, Shadow, and Teddy Bear. We got Ileana, Tiger, String Bean, Unnamed Black Cat, and Nyla. Hello, everybody. We got furniture. We're going to be fancy up in here. Hey, put that down. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's go to our crafting table and see. Um, placeable quiver. Oh, we can make that right away. Oh, it's just made with a bunch of arrows. Perfect, because I have tons of arrows. Uh, ooh, redwood. Look, quiver. <gasps> ooh, fancy very first piece and it's already pretty amazing and I've read that these are actual blocks and they are not entities which a lot of the add-ons have entities instead of actual blocks but I think these are real these are the real deals that is pretty awesome all right let's see if we can see everything if we do all the recipes and it looks like a lot of the some of this furniture is from the free add-on that we have but let's see if there are are more that we can see because i want to see all the things oh yeah there it is there's some gates oh we can have special gates and there's fences there's beams okay okay chairs rope oh my goodness different types of beds oh we gotta make a new bed we gotta make a new bed make it fancy ukulele that is awesome leaf piles Look at all this stuff. This reminds me of The Sims. Should we, like, decorate some houses? Should we build houses? <laughs> there's different types of, um, I think there's different wallpapers, too, that we can use. Oh, my goodness. Cabinets. And I think they actually store stuff, too. So that's gonna be fun. <gasps> Creeper plushie. Maybe we'll make all the plushies today, too. That would be pretty amazing. Parasol decorative lime wallpaper it looks like it's got a bunch of froggies on it oh my gosh a hammock oh my gosh there's there's flower wallpaper that's pretty and here is the windmill it looks pretty easy to make so we just need a uh, wool and sticks i wonder does it have to be red wool i guess we'll see we'll see how that goes uh, but let's go ahead and grab some wool and we'll have some sticks in here this is exciting. Uh, do I have any sticks? Yeah, we got sticks. We got sticks for days. And yeah, it looks like it does have to be red, which is fine. We got red dye. We'll just grab a bunch of these roses and there we go. We can make some red wool. Looks like we need four pieces of red. So let's go ahead and do that. And we did it. We have a windmill. Oh my gosh, it's huge. <gasps> That's gonna be perfect. Oh, we need to put that in our farm right now. Oh, and we could pick it up right away. Didn't disappear or anything. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have to do it. Uh, it looks like it's nighttime though. <laughs> we gotta sleep first. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. It actually spins and everything. And there's actually a water wheel too, which I think might be cool to look at while we look at this stuff. So it's just sticks and some wood so let's just go ahead and grab some of that and make ourselves 
a water wheel, because you know what? Why not? Uh, oh, we got two? We got two water wheels, okay. So I guess let's head over to the farm. Or actually, should we make some plushies first? Because <laughs> there's just so much. Oh my gosh, what do you guys want to see first? Or what do you guys want to... Uh, want me to to, to feature <laughs> what are you interested in uh plushies um let's see i know there was like a sheep one yeah sheep plushie we can make that one it looks like <gasps> little sheep plushie <gasps> oh it makes a noise that is cute and let's go ahead and make a cow plushie put it right next to our little sheep buddy Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. I love it. Love plushies. And to make a pig one, we're going to need a carrot. So let's go ahead and see. We got some in here. And oh, little piggy. Little piggy, piggy, piggy. Let's put you next to the cow. Oh, man. That's cute. And it looks like we can make a creeper plushie and an enderman plushie. So we need a gunpowder and we also need an ender pearl. And we can make some more plush, little creeper buddy, and a little enderman friend. I guess we'll just put it down here for now. I'm sure we're going to move this stuff in the future, but hey, we're just going to display it. Little creeper friend. Oh, that is so cute. And then do a little enderman. Oh, that, I like that one. That one's really cool. It's got a little cool sitting animation. Very nice. And it looks like there's also a zombie plush. So, of course, we gotta complete our collection. We gotta catch them all. And let's go ahead and make one of these real quick. And a little zombie dude. Join your family. Hey, we have the perfect amount of barrels right here. There you go. Oh, he's cute. Why is he cute, though? <laughs> Why is he cute though? <laughs> Look at this collection. This is great. I can definitely see myself using this around our world for decorations. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many stuff. I'm so overwhelmed right now and so excited. Uh, all right, I want to do the windmill thing. I just, I gotta do it, guys. We made this beautiful windmill over in our farming area and I just want to see what it looks like. I just want to know. Puppies, kitties, capybara. I just want to know. And there it is. Off in the distance, we can see our windmill and... It looks like we're about to have a moving one. I wonder, okay, let's check the scale first because maybe the, the scale is totally off and it won't work for this one. Maybe we'll have to make a different one, but I'm thinking it might be okay. So I'm just going to pull her up for now and just place it just to make sure that we like the way it looks before I tear down <laughs> the original non-moving version. But let's just go ahead and see what it is. And I guess we'll just place it in the middle for now and... Uh... Okay, there's a button there, so it might not. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Do you guys think I should remove the original one or just leave that one there and just have like... It kind of looks cool that way. Let me know what you guys think. I need your opinion. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I think it fits though. I think it's the right size. Our minimal is not too big and it definitely works out quite well. Let's go ahead and test out the water wheel too. Uh, not exactly sure where I want to have it, but we'll just go ahead and put it somewhere over here by mocha or bison hey buddy wait should i put it in their little pond <laughs> uh it, it's probably way too small yeah it's way too small for that oh and there's a little new duck friends they have been laying some eggs oh thank you so much do you guys have babies are you fertile let's see nope <gasps> you are fertile good job me little chicky do hey and they like to swim in the water too and i guess let's go ahead and place our water wheel over in this river for now just so we can see what it looks like and oh wow that's real cool i wonder if we can get it to spin too oh look at that um do we have to pour i don't know how to use this <laughs> i don't have the proper technology <laughs> skills to know what's going on here on it maybe um I'm not exactly sure. Well, we'll figure it out though one day, I'm sure. Well, let's go ahead and place that and see if we place some water on top. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing, but it looks cool. It's nice decoration. Maybe we need redstone or something. We'll figure it out in the future, but 
even so, it's still a really nice decoration. I guess we'll just place it here for now. Look at that. We could have one back there and we'll put one in here. And once we figure out how to use it, we'll figure out how to do it. When it's getting nighttime, I guess we should make a new bed too. Because there's tons of new beds that we can make in this new furniture add-on. And I want to see what it's like. I don't know if it'll quite fit in the windmill though, but I guess we'll see because there is a bed in here. But let's go ahead and see the types of beds that we have. And look at all of these. So we need two of the original beds and two oak planks to make ourselves a new queen size bed. That's pretty awesome. I guess we'll just make a white one for now. And we'll just go ahead and make two normal beds. And put them together with some planks. And get ourselves a super bed. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. That's cool. Okay, will it fit up here? Probably not. This wasn't made for this, but I guess we'll just test it out and see what happens. Uh, yeah, that it's not. There's not enough room. That's okay. It wasn't made for this. We, we were just checking it out. So we'll place this one down. And I guess we can put this one down in the cellar for now because I know there's some empty space. I just want to see what it looks like and go to sleep. So, oh wow! That's cool. We can jump on the bed. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. And we can go to sleep. It works. It's functional. We love it. Look at that. Very nice. There's nothing creepy about having a bed in a cellar, okay? Everything's fine. Uh, actually, I'm quite hungry, too. Let's go ahead and eat our last blueberry pie, and I guess we should make some more food with the farming add-on. We can make... let's do something new. I know for dinner today I had spaghetti, so let's go ahead and see if we can make some pasta. I know there's a couple different pasta recipes that we can have. Um, let's see. Okay, pasta is wheat in a water bottle we can do that we have the technologies uh i know i have a bunch of bottles in here somewhere at least i used to did i move them all to the juice place <laughs> the juice place stole my bottles we got two pieces of glass are you telling me i don't have any in here i don't believe it do not believe it i'm in denial the nile is a river in egypt so here are our options for our pasta. We can make spinach pasta. We can make tomato onion pasta. We can make broccoli and cheese pasta. And we can make tomato chili pasta. That sounds actually pretty good. Do I have chili yet? I think so. We'll need a chili and some tomato sauce. So let's go ahead and see. We got a couple of chilies in here. And do we have any tomatoes? We do. We're making some spicy pasta today. I guess we can go over here and steal some glass bottles from our juice truck. Excuse me. Juice truck. I need I need some of my bottles back. Thank you very much. We're going to make some yummy pasta. We're going to be chefs. And I, yep, I have a crafting table over here. And let's go ahead and just uh, make some of that. Oh yeah, we need water bottles. And I guess we'll go to our kitchen and make some yummy food. Mmm, pond water. It's gonna make really good pasta. I just know it. We'll make three of these and then we'll need some of these glass bottles to make some tomato sauce. So we'll make three of those too. And then what else do we need? We need a bowl. We need to be proper and make some bowls to eat our yummy delicious pasta. And we'll go ahead and do that. And there we go. Tomato chili pasta. Ooh, it's gonna be yummy. Does it stack? It does not stack, but it looks really cool. And once we get hungry, we can go ahead and eat some. I wonder if we can uh, display. I know there's like a display item that is in the new furniture add-on. I'll just go ahead and put some extras in here for now. And I guess let's see. I don't think a display case is meant to hold pasta, but I'm intrigued. So let's go ahead and see if we can make one. So there's a wooden one and there's also a metal display case. So let's go ahead and make the wooden one for now. It looks like we can do it. And what happens if we put pasta in it? Will it work together? 
<laughs> I guess we'll just put it down right here. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh, that's cool. Can I place it, like, on the ground or is it always up? No, it's- it's- I guess it's like a- it's always gonna be up, maybe? And let's see, we can put it on that. I guess it goes on the wall, like so. Um, can we put pasta in it? <gasps> we can put pasta in it! Emergency pasta! On the wall, just in case, you know. Don't tell me you've never had pasta cravings before in the middle of the night, okay? You cannot tell me you've never done that. I'm just weird and put pasta in it, but we're gonna be able to do tons. You know what? I think there's also a sink in the new furniture add-on, because right now I'm just using a cauldron and this lever, you know, like good old Minecraft back in the day. But I think we can actually make a proper sink. We can. We can make an oak sink, uh, and there's all different types of colors. Oh, this is so fun. There's so much in this. We're gonna have to do many episodes on all the different furniture. And we can make a proper sink for our kitchen. That is gonna be great. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and remove the OG original sink and replace it with this one. That looks cool. I wonder, is there like a tap that we can put on it? Or maybe it's just like a little basin like that. Let's see, is there a tap? No. And it looks like we can have some spruce counters and some spruce cabinets, which I think would go good in our kitchen. So let's go ahead and place that down and maybe we can replace these uh, with some of those. We're decorating today. We are decorating, we're remodeling. Move that bus. So we can make some counters. I'm not sure how many we're going to need. We'll make five for now. And then we can also make some cabinets make two of those for now and then since it's nighttime again I do want to make a pink bed for my actual bedroom so let's go ahead and see if we can do that I know we're gonna need two beds so let's go ahead and make that and I wonder oh you know I already had two beds here you know what just pretend I didn't make another one <laughs> and let's see if we can make a spruce pink bed like so there we go. We'll just put these extra bed. I, I meant to do that all along. And we'll put this queen size spruce bed right here. If we can, we'll move this carpet. There we go. That looks awesome. That, that looks like a proper bed. That is so cool. Let's go ahead and see if we can use it. We can. Oh my gosh. We're going to need a bigger bedroom. <laughs> That is so cool. I love it. And I guess let's go down to our kitchen. Hello, little friends. And do some remodeling in here. Oh my gosh. My, okay, there's so much stuff in all this stuff. Uh, I'm just going to place these down for now. So we can see what they look like. And then I'll have to decorate it. <laughs> and move around all the stuff. But we'll put the counters and make sure that that's what we want. I think... Oh, yes. And then there's storage. <gasps> the drawers open up. Do you guys see that? The drawers open up. That is so good. Hi, platypus. Um, and then the cabinets we can put up here. Uh, but once again, these got stuff in them. So we'll just go ahead and place that there. And <gasps> that opens up too. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to replace all these. I'm going to move all the stuff that's in these barrels, in these new items, and show you guys what our new kitchen is going to look like. So here are all the different types of cabinets we can make, and they all look so cool. We're definitely going to have to do a lot of building <laughs> different, uh, different houses and stuff to be able to use all these, but I'm wondering... I was going to use spruce for our kitchen, but I wonder if we should do either warped... Or maybe the cherry. Look at that. It looks like it's got marble on top. I think we should go for the cherry. We're going to do cherry cabinets. And let's make a bunch of these counters too. So let's make a bunch of cherry counters. We have so much. I made too much. But we'll use it. We'll use it in future builds and everything. Oh, it's burning out. It's dark. It's okay. We're inside. And we have our emergency pasta, which we are hungry. So let's go ahead and eat our yummy, delicious food. Oh, it's so good. Very yummy. Gonna put our bowl away. Emergency bowl. 
stat. And I guess we should go ahead. We can move all these. And I emptied out all of these barrels because I had stuff in them. Oh, except that one. <laughs> these ones should be empty though. There we go. So we can go ahead and remove these so we can have some proper uh, counters in here. Oh, snap. We got marble. We are fancy up in here. Oh my goodness. Nyla, look at that, buddy. Oh, sit down, sit down. There you go, sweetie. Uh, wow. That's pretty cool. And then we have our cabinets that we can go ahead and put up here. Very nice. We don't need this one here anymore. And our kitchen is getting an upgrade. I wonder, does that mean we need like a, a pink sink now? I think we can make a pink one. Let's double check and see. Yes, we can make a pink sink. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that too. And we'll make one of these. And there's also some new tables and chairs that we could make too. I'm not sure if my kitchen's actually big enough, even for the small table, because my kitchen's kind of small. But we'll go ahead and make uh, some of the new ones just so we can go ahead and see it. We're going to need a bigger house, maybe. <laughs> we also got door frames, we got gates, we have bigger tables, and we got a rocking chair. We can go ahead and put one of those outside. That'll be cute. And a little stool. Maybe we'll, maybe, let's see what the stool looks like. And a hanging sign. Can we put stuff in them? In the actual sign to like display what we have? <gasps> we got cherry fences. Oh my gosh, we're going to make a couple of these. <laughs> maybe we'll make a gate too to see if they interact with each other. And I guess we can go ahead and put our rocking chair out here. I think that'll be nice. And we can sit and enjoy the rain. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's rocking. Oh, it actually rocks when you get out of the chair. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and see that again, and we'll get out and look at that! It's rocking! Our rocking chair is real. It's not an imposter. It's real. Can we rock it if we just like bump into it? No. Not like that, but when you get out of it, it does rock around, which is really cute. And let's see how big this table actually is. Yeah, our kitchen is not big enough for this. I was gonna maybe replace that, but we don't have the space for that. We're gonna need a bigger house or something. I guess we can go ahead and place it here for now. Hey, little kitty. Go ahead and move over there. Oh, you know what? Don't be a clock, though. You don't need to be a clock. You can be a table instead. Um, let's go ahead. We can place that there for now, I guess. Uh, just We're going to do more decorating, but I just kind of want to see what the items actually look like for now. And let's see what this chair looks like. I wonder if we need to go like that. Very nice. Can we sit in the chair? We can sit in the chair and eat our dinner gonna need a bigger house <laughs> so that we can use all these cool furniture um let's see what the stool looks like because these are like the tall stools from the other furniture mod and we got these little short ones that we can use and we can actually sit on these too which is very cool and let's place our new cherry sink right there very nice our kitchen is getting an upgrade i love the drawers and I guess we can remove some of this fencing to see how the new fencing looks. And we might need to make some more, but we'll just see how it goes for now. And place down these. Oh, it's like a pink picket fence. Some people want a white picket fence, but I want a pink one. Oh, and yeah, and it breaks quite easily. And it's gonna, it's gonna talk to that lichen that's on the floor. You might have to move that, but let's go ahead and make some more fences to change up all of these. And we'll place down the rest of these ones. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to move that lichen, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and move these for now. And we still got these ones to do on the side. You know what? I think we can make a nest for you, fish cat. Can I do it in here? <gasps> chicken nest. I know you're not a chicken, fish cat. I know. But there's a nest. And let's see if we can get you... <laughs> to sit on top of it. Come here, fish cat. We got a little nest for you. We got a little nest for you, little buddy. Let's go ahead and sit you down, and can we get you? It doesn't look like she can actually sit in it, but she can sit by it, and she, maybe she'll sleep in it when we're not looking. Little fish cat. And I think we can actually put an egg in the nest, too, and... Yes, we can. That looks cool. That's going to be so cool for our zoo and our different exhibits that we have. Very nice. 
Can I do the modded ones? The duck egg? Nope. No duck egg. And we also have a quail egg. Nope. They won't work. They're not from the same mod. I didn't think they would, but it's very cool that we can kind of have a little egg on display. Fish cat, is that your baby? Are you actually part chicken? You have a little chicken egg. That egg's bigger than you. I don't think you laid it. <laughs> and I guess let's hang this cherry sign right here. That looks nice. Can we put items? Oh! <gasps> You can click it and you can get new shapes. Oh, that is amazing. Little creeper face. There's a sword. There's a thing. A pickaxe. A fish. And a home. That is cool. Does it, yep, it shows up on here too. I like that sign. That sign is great. And I kind of want to see what the gate looks like too. I guess we'll just place it here just for scientific purposes. But yes, it connects together very nice. And oh, you can leave it open like that and close it up. That's kind of nice. I like that. Nothing like a gate to your breaking your ankles. And there's also tons of new placeable like food items too and other items. Uh, like placeable pumpkin pie. I want to see what that looks like. We also have uh, uncooked rabbit. Placeable cooked rabbit. Placeable chicken, we got crossbow, we got placeable totem of oh, undying, placeable bow, placeable puffer fish, and a salmon, and the quiver is the very first thing that we made. Placeable emerald, ooh, that'd be fancy. Cookie, golden apple, placeable cooked beef, placeable carrots, beef, uh, ooh, cooked chicken, and there's placeable clock, there's placeable mushroom stew, compass, Rabbit stew and apple, ender eye, we got baked potato, beetroot soup, um, ender pearl, and we have a bow with arrow, and also a uh, placeable fishing rod. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Wow, there's so much things to look at. Um, So we made the pie. Let's make maybe... Oh my gosh. Do we have cooked chicken anywhere? I put all the items that were in those... <laughs> In those uh chests, those barrels over here, they're just kind of all over the place. All of our different food. Uh, I think there was one for beef. There's an apple one. Uh, let's see. I don't really have a lot of chicken. We have to go murdering. But let's go ahead and just make the ones that we have for now. Just for decorative purposes. Uh, let's make... Can we make mushroom stew? We got mushroom there. We can make beetroot stew. Let's go ahead and do that for now. We can make a placeable apple, uncooked beef, mmm, yummy, <laughs> cooked beef, and I guess we'll just place it down on these counters for now. So here is the pumpkin pie, let me shift click. Oh, it doesn't look like I can shift click on these to just like place items on top. Very interesting, so you can't place them on the counters. Uh, let's see if we can place them on the table that's over here. We can place them on the table. Very nice. It doesn't look like we can eat it like a cake or anything. Uh, let's go ahead and place our placeable apple. Very nice. It does interact with the glass though, so that's just something to note. But it looks really cool. And let's see. Um, man, that's a bummer that we can't place, can't place them on the actual counters. I guess we'll go ahead and place some beef right here. That looks cool. That is definitely going to be amazing to use for decorations like for dinner tables. And let's see what the other things look like too. We got placeable uncooked beef, which would be very good in like, um, like a butchery or like a deli or something like that. <laughs> Getting ready to prepare and eat the meat. Very nice. And let's make some... How do we make beetroot soup? I don't think I've ever made beetroot soup how does one beetroot oh man that's that's a lot that's a lot of beetroot but you know what it's okay we'll make this and we can make it placeable oh that looks amazing that's gonna be good for restaurants for decorating for kitchens i like this yes that looks good kind of looks like blood though I'm not gonna lie looks like a bull blood but it also looks very cool <laughs> I think another thing I really want to make today is the aquarium, which we need glass, sand, and iron to do so. And let's go ahead and make a couple of these. 
Uh, that should be good for now. Not sure where we're going to put this, but I do want to see if we can actually put fish inside. So I got tropical fish, oxalotl, puffer fish. Crab isn't going to work. That's from a different mod. <laughs> Probably won't work. Uh, let's go ahead and see what else we have. Uh, I think that'll be good for now. We'll just see if we can actually use them. I guess we'll use our balcony for now. <laughs> we need we need places to put all this stuff. Oh my gosh. That is cool. Let's clip it. I wonder if it's because it's next to that fence where it's kind of like fuzzy a little bit. There we go. It's fixed because it's not right next to the fence. But there is the new aquarium which looks very cool. I like it a lot. It reminds me of like Mr. Crayfish's fish bowls back in the day. But, but more elevated because it's an actual tank. And it's like, it looks like it takes up two blocks and... Oh my gosh. We can actually put fish inside of it. That is gonna go great for decorating for like our fishes and make different aquariums and exhibits for them. That is amazing. I love it so much. Wow. I wonder, okay, can I, I can take it back out. So is it gonna be the same fish? Cause I know tropical fish can be all different types. And yeah, it looks like it is the same fish, which is nice. But I, oh, no, it changes. Never mind. It'll change. So I guess if you don't like the fish, <laughs> the tropical fish that you have in there, you can change it until you get one that you do like. Which might be pretty cool. There we go. We got a little Nemo, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can we put a puffer fish in one of these aquariums? And it looks like we can. Oh, that is amazing. I am definitely going to make a bunch of these to display all of our little fish friends. Look at you, little pufferino. And let's see, can we put an oxalotl in there? No, it's quite small, so yeah, I don't, yeah, it doesn't really see how that would work, but um, can we put more than one fish? Because I have one tropical fish in there. Can I put another one? Doesn't look like it. So only one fish per aquarium, but it is very nice. I love it. This this is really cool. <laughs> this is really amazing. Wow. Bedrock Minecraft, what are you doing? You got all these really cool stuff now. So there's still tons and tons of things that I can make with this new furniture add-on for Bedrock Minecraft. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna have to make a bunch of these in the future. What do you guys want to see me decorate next? Maybe like a living room or maybe I need to upgrade my bedroom and make it bigger so I can use some of these new good decorations. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you guys want me to build next with all of these new cool furniture things that we can have. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Bye!